is for big A's. I'm a YouTube girly. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Just Chanel here. minute briefing from the captain okay love that for us we're headed to minneapolis we're actually about to start boarding we have some dead headers on today's flight so we need some men back there putting the bags up but i'll catch you guys in minneapolis because we have a little bit of a sit um start your day with protein i have my green juice and of course my tea but i have some chicken sausage and turkey bacon here so i'm about to like devour this really quickly and yeah i'll catch you guys when we get to one of my favorite airports stack y'all serious okay i don't know what this is, this is paramount spongebob i'm like all the screens it kind of looks cool this is what the plane looks like going up to the front closet right after first class you know somebody that say hello charcuterie and then there we go the galley up here is pretty small but i like the galley in the back because it has a lot of storage all right and we're off Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my back's so heavy, I can't do it like that. Oh my gosh, my back. <laughs> oh, it's so. Um, Y'all, this airport has so much carpet. That's the only part I don't like about this airport. Oh gosh, my back. The wheels. I have to roll it on the two back wheels right now just to get it up the trappers. We're in C right now, which I didn't even know that we'd come into this far down. It's so interesting to see like when they renovate the airport. This is where the Chick-fil-A is, where the old Chick-fil-A is, right? This is G, which this, I don't even think this existed when I was based here. I'm pretty sure this took you outside of security. It was like another type of exit, but now you can walk between C and G. So this is super convenient, but I'm pretty sure it puts you on the opposite side of G, like away from... I think this is like really far from TSA. It's so pretty though, like the lighting. Wow. Do you see that plane over there? That is G22. So yes, we are at the end of G, which means I believe the chiropractor is 
like by G9 or something like that. So we have a little bit of ways to walk, but they have the moving sidewalk, so that's convenient. Minneapolis has the best restroom out of every single airport you'll ever visit. The bathrooms are so nice. Oh, they have a new location. Three or four locations within the airport. It's all the same practice. It's called a chiroport, like chiropractor, but airport. This is so cute. It's like a little shack. So this is by G14 and 15. I've been going to this chiropractor for seven years, y'all. I love it so much. I would actually move my base back to Minneapolis and commute to work just for the chiropractor. Like that's how good it is. I'm not here that often anymore. And you know, I just, I haven't found a chiropractor in Atlanta that I'm just like completely in love with. So whenever I see we have a sit in Minneapolis, it's like, I want the trip. Like, give me the trip. <laughs> it's mine. Please, scheduling gods. <laughs> so yeah, I think he's um, finishing up with his patient. And I will insert a video of my last adjustment because it was so good. We like filmed the whole thing. Of course, I'll get some footage today as well. I'm so excited. Like, and then this little shack situation, like the little hut is so cute. Like imagine me having a tea shop like that in the airport. So yeah, I need to take a picture of how they did this it's so nice like just for people to walk up and grab a cup of tea instead of having like a whole starbucks looking or dunkin donuts looking like situation i can really have my a custom built tea hut shack shop in the airport <laughs> If you're new here, you're probably like, why is she talking about tea so much? Well, I own a tea shop. There's some of the teas that I offer. Um, I like to bring tea on my trips, so that way, like, if any passengers or my crew members want to purchase them, I just always have some. And then I also, like, have samples that I'll give away, but this one's so good. I actually just posted on Instagram about it, Cucumber Melon Mint. It's like a spa day in a cup, and all the flavors are so profound and well-balanced. It's naturally sweetened and gives you a nice, sustainable boost of energy. Of course, immunity is one I always recommend for flight attendants because we are around so many people so just making sure that you are keeping your immune system boosted mood tea this is for all of my girls so if you deal with pms symptoms you get cramps this is really good it helps you power through the day whenever you know you're on your cycle some of the teas but check out the shop link will be in the description if i could be a tea i would be tea like i love tea i want to be a tea <laughs> oh what are we doing lay down lay down new woman so, um, my doctor gave me so many good tips about getting in the airport so i'm gonna leave him this tea i had to like redo my whole life um so i'm just gonna throw it in a quick ponytail and then we are going to go to the gate so we're on a different aircraft and um did i mention where we're going <laughs> we're going to dc today this is such a good view Ready for 
Look at this. Minneapolis has like this hydration station. It's not just a regular water fountain. It's so nice. It's called Hope Hydration. Imagine this, but tea, like hot water, you choose your flavor and just dispenses. Wow, I'm gonna fill up my water bottle. I'm in the middle of the concourse. I didn't notice them anywhere else, but they're like all in the center. So when you go through TSA and you have like the food court and the restaurants, that's where you can fill up your water bottle. This is the water bottle that I use to travel with. I like it because it doesn't have one of those straws that sticks out like a Stanley. So you can like cover your spout from all the germs and they have so many different colors, but I got this colorway because this spout is red. And so when I wear red lipstick, it never looks like my water bottle like spout is dirty. Um, so let's go ahead and fill her up. I'm pretty sure it's just, yeah, look at that. Lipstick actually still looks pretty good. I'm probably gonna eat a snack <laughs> before we board, but I'm just gonna put some more mascara on. So I like to always put three coats and I didn't today. I just did mascara and lipstick because I am gonna go explore in DC and I hate showing up to the layover hotel with a face full of makeup. Cause then you have to like refresh it, you know? So I was like, let me just do a little light something. Let's go to the gate. There are a ton of stalls, of course, but my favorite part is like the handicap restroom because it's just so fancy. So when I used to commute, I literally would change clothes in here, like do a whole little routine when I would sleep in the lounge. Just so cute. Like, look at the material. Look at the body. <laughs> here I was running to the gate and the plane just got here. So the gate is right behind me at C3. You can probably see it. Um, let's do a what's in my lunchbox a little tour because I'm starving and I don't want to eat the food and y'all don't get to see everything that I packed because I'm actually really proud of what I packed today. I have not really packed my lunchbox or meal prep for work in a long time. I used to all the time years like one through three. I'm on year seven of flying so my trips are so short I typically just have to eat one meal away from home. Um, but I wanted to make sure I had snacks today and I'm trying to kind of stay on a balanced diet with like lots of fresh fruits and veggies and it's hard to find that in the airport so let's do it what's in my lunchbox i use the e-bag to lunchbox highly recommend this lunchbox it's huge i'm just not realizing that my handle looks like this but i'm not replacing it keeping the same box <laughs> uh it has pockets on each side big enough for cans and bottles and you can actually zip them up as well like i can zip this with the can in it but i'm actually about to drink this and then i just keep some essentials in the front pocket so cough drops emergency palm olive because i always wash my dishes i don't like to wait till i get home to wash them hand sanitizer wipes utensils you know all of the things in the top i like to keep all of my dry snacks oh the first tea of course i threw this in here this morning because i often crave like the coffee flavor but don't want coffee because it's entirely too much caffeine like you shouldn't be starting your day with coffee so we have this tea called christmas morning i handcraft all the teas guys it's so good i think tea time in london this is the type of tea you would make and add cream and sugar to it and then these are my go-to's whenever i'm flying love that liver which is our detox tea it's like very gentle you can work with it and sage slow morning a book i threw this in here because i I was rushing a little bit this morning. A few snacks, my best friend told me to try this. It's a fruit bar, like a fruit strip, but only two ingredients. So this one's mango passion fruit, and look how it looks. It's just pureed fruit. You know you know. Like, Chomps is the best snack ever, and I'm trying to just increase my protein day by day. Almond butter. Speaking of London, I've been obsessed with like tea time in London. So I went grocery shopping there and got this turmeric and manuka honey popcorn. It is so good. I think it has protein too. Oh yeah, there's eight grams of protein, which is awesome. My hands are so dry. Somebody send me some of this. Look at that. Avocado, because I made like shrimp lettuce wraps. Of course, green juice. If you know, you know. I'm going to bring green juice everywhere I go. Um, so this is celery, kale, pineapple, ginger, lemon, and I'm 
using a green cucumber. Um, I have some muscadine. I think these are in season. I'm actually gonna go ahead and snap on these now. And then of course, coconut water. I am recently obsessed with coconut water. I was never like a coconut water drinker before. I thought it was disgusting, but Trader Joe's has a good one and then Sprouts has an even better one. Whenever I'm feeling dehydrated, which happens a lot when I'm flying, I drink coconut water and it literally just gives me like the energy I need to make it throughout the day. Roasted carrots and some shrimp. All of my lettuce wrap toppings. Soy sauce, peppers, lettuce, cilantro, onions. I have some peanut in it, peanut butter in there as well to make like a peanut sauce. I brought hummus and cucumbers with me. And then I've been making a like monochromatic fruit salad every week. So this week is orange. I just choose a color every week. So I have peaches, mandarins, nectarines, and mango. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 23 ENF and 22 E. Oh, this is a super short jet bridge. Love this. You know the nanny and me. I used to be a nanny for those of you that are new watching, but this just screams Miss Chanel. This is an Airbus 320. Ever wonder why you should get a comfort seat? I think this is a commercial. <laughs> uh, this is a comfort basket, y'all. A lot of people ask, like, what's the difference? You get some extra leg room and you get better snacks, like actually really good snacks. Thank you for doing this. Uh, let's see, we have some sea salt chips, potato chips, the gummy bears, bussin', okay? These right here, only 100 calories, babe. You know how I know that? Cause I be eating like three bags. And then pistachios, of course. These cookies are really good. They also have like a caramel one. We used to have them, but mm, they're so good. There's the chocolate, you know? Well, let me give you guys a little telly tour. It's always the little things that count, like this just little area where I can drop the key, you know, have a bag, just the, the grab and go spot is great. Um, I don't know if there's a luggage rack, but this is the closet. This robe has the hotel name on it, so I'm not going to share, but what's this? Okay, so this is like where the ironing board and everything is. And then of course you have the bathroom, which looks amazing. Let's turn on. A light definitely gonna do a nice little get ready with me in here look at that and then look at the um, mirror it has the time on it that is so nice like you can never be late coffee station safe there are no refrigerators no microwaves so I had to store my lunchbox downstairs and then this is what the room looks like boom nice queen or king bed I think that's a queen um but nice super cute i love to hit the ground running on my layovers so i'm about to change clothes i think i'll go live on youtube really quick while my phone charges and we're gonna go explore dc however <laughs> it'll be a separate layover vlog so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the dc layover vlog i found a restaurant on instagram that i'm dying to try here and then of course all the museums are free if you didn't know you can go to the smithsonian for free you can go to the zoo for free everything's just free so you can just like have a whole family weekend girls day solo trip whatever you want to do here in dc mm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. get into the material <laughs> some carrots i mean girl this is cucumber cucumbers and hummus i was like what can i get out of my lunchbox just to give me some fuel before i go explore since i had to store my lunchbox i figure a little protein a little veggie you know mm -hmm. <laughs> tomorrow I'm gonna vlog as well 
but that'll be a separate video so like another flight attendant day in the life vlog our day tomorrow is actually longer we have three legs tomorrow along with a three hour sit and usually i don't like sits but tomorrow's monday so i have some work to get done i brought my laptop and so sits are like the perfect time for me to get all the things done i need to for my business virtually essentially uh, make sure you shop quality okay i'll leave the link down below of course sipquality.com period you get all your teas boo you got to stock up mm, 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 mm. we also have a deal going on right now if you buy three teas you save 25 percent. if i could recommend any three teas i would say love thy liver for sure it's our best seller it's an am detox super gentle you can drink it before work it helps alleviate bloating aids weight loss really improves your digestive system throughout the day but you know you're not gonna have the bubble guts or be like running to the bathroom or anything blue butterfly is really good it's caffeine free it's actually blue it has the butterfly pea flowers in it nice blueberry flavor along with all the benefits from the butterfly pea flower which improves your mood gives you glowing skin and then probably cucumber melon mint because you just need something to like give you that nice boost of energy sometimes, you know, without the crash and the jitters like you get from coffee. And the flavor of that tea is so good. Like it actually smells great too. Wonderful air freshener. <laughs> it's actually amazing. This hummus is good. I got from Whole Foods. It's very good. Thank God for watching. I appreciate the support. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Not the middle finger, girl. The peace sign. Hold on. Boing!